Hello and welcome to Inner City, Inner, Inner City Gardening. I'm now a proper YouTuber because I bought a $1 microphone off eBay. Are you zooming in on my tit? Yes. That will get the views. Thanks to everyone who liked this page. Uh, today I'm going to show you three things. How to tell if you've got caterpillars, a surprise friend and a new technique. So first, how do you know if you've got a caterpillar? May I direct your attention down here? You look for the shit that goes on and then you turn over the leaf and you're like, there's a bugger. Look, can, can you see? What a, he's the same colour as the leaf. I think he's scared off all the good and bad bugs because you can see no one. Just, they're ugh. Ugh. If you're squeamish, then I uh, then you might you might as want to stop now because I'll direct you over here where I've prepared some earlier. Ugh. I realise now I've made a sort of miniature caterpillar death row. Uh, I'm not going to show you that live because we're not a snuff channel, um, and I also feel a bit bad about the whole situation. Um, <laughs> uh, back up in this direction, I'll show you caterpillar eggs they look a bit like pepper or little spots of mold oh I should have kept them then I could have done the macro lens on it damn it uh, I'm sure that if I look look at this this was we were gonna eat this and now it's destroyed and it's disgusting this is uh this is the basil plant I haven't introduced you welcome um, moving on to the friend now I want to show you, you know, when this channel began, the heart of this channel is capsicums and the capsicum family. And all this time, there was a friend growing under my nose that I didn't even notice. He's over here. He's modest. He's a modest capsicum. Uh, you know, just humbly growing alone without any special attention, unlike all the other chilies and capsicums. Look at this! It's like a supermarket size capsicum! He's huge! Look at the thick thing that he's feeding, like the, the stem, that's what it's called, the stem! You can smell the capsicum, you know, I can feel that this plant is actually plagued by some bad bugs, because I like, feel them on my skin. Isn't that an effervescence, effervescence song? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> anyway, let's let's wrap up this shit. Careful, don't stand on the on the on the the devils. Um. All right. So I have over here <laughs> my colleague who I like very much. Sometimes I wonder though. Recommended this technique, which is coffee grounds in place of tan bark or what do you call that stuff? Inner city gardening, this is where it's at. You know, the tan bark. The, look, it's Friday afternoon, I don't know the, know the names. Anyway, this is coffee grounds. It actually really stinks. Uh, this is the University of Bleeps, um campus coffee shop. So thousands of students have contributed to my garden. If you live in the suburb of Bleep, then you can feel happy that you've contributed to this garden. So I'm going to demonstrate the procedure now. Do you get that? Mm. Again. Is, did you get it? Did you get it? Again. And that's pretty much done. The hardest part of this is convincing people that you're not a freak when you're walking away from the coffee shop carrying the bitter remains of um, daytime sustenance. Hopefully this will act a little bit like the, the tan bark covering and keep in the moisture and make the worms go absolutely crazy. Um, caffeinated worms. Next on Inner City Gardening, I think we'll return back to the chilies, update you on the bugs and um, introduce you to a new flower. Oh, what, what's my thing again? Ouch!